So, this is the Richard Mill 8140. No, sorry, I meant to say this is the Pin Time PT8140. Of course, you realize that this is basically a straight copy of a Richard Mill, but a Richard Mill that looks like this will cost you somewhere around half a million pounds. This does not cost anything like half a million pounds. This is £35.50. So that's like $40 or something like that off of Amazon. But does that mean it's going to fall apart basically instantly? I don't know. Let's find out. So I've been wearing this watch every day for the last month to see if it really can stand up to everyday wear. I've done everything in it so you know whether you can or not. I will test this watch to destruction if I have to, to find out if it's really good enough to even be worth £35. Right, so let's start with the obvious stuff. Now this is a really big watch, but if you like this sort of watch, then that's what you want, because the sizes are approximately the same as the Richard Mill. So it's a 45 millimeter wide case, and it's 22 millimeters deep. That's the thing that gets me, it's this depth. To me, that's really deep. Now I'm playing with these buttons and to be honest, they do not feel sturdy. They do work and yes, they survived the full month of hard use, but to be honest, I don't think they're going to last for years, especially the, the crown. You can see it wobbles when you use it. It barely feels connected when you change the time with it. So aesthetically, it's quite pleasing. It's the finish I quite like. It's like a sort of um, brushed aluminium look. That's absolutely fine. The case fits together, feels very, very sturdy. So the silicon strap is um, about 25 centimeters long, 250 millimeters if you'd rather say it like that, um, which is fine for, as you can see, I've, I've not got a particularly small wrist and that's plenty to spare. Um, as I mentioned, it's very thick. Um, actually, the specs said they were 22 millimeters thick, but it's actually about 18, 1.8 centimeters thick, and the width of the strap is 22 millimeters. As I say, it's actually been surprisingly hard wearing, and I've been working on the truck today with it and crawling around on the floor, and I genuinely expected to see this scratched to hell and totally ruined but it's fine there's one tiny scratch there that it picked up the other day but i have been giving it some pretty hard wear whereas i would imagine that to be honest these are mostly for wearing in a nightclub and that's also where in darkened light you may well mistake it for a richard mill which is to be honest kind of what these are for Am I going to recommend that you buy one of these? Well, the thing is, it really depends. I mean, it's not an amazingly made watch. It's not a piece of beautifully crafted technology like a genuine Richard Mill. But if you're not worried about that, if you just want something that kind of looks the part, will be good in a nightclub, a bit of fun, it's probably only going to last you a year or so if you wear it, to be honest, because I think it probably is going to fall apart. But the strap is really strong. The strap's very impressive. So you're probably going to get some fun out of it. If you don't take it too seriously, yeah, why not? It's 35 quid. You can see exactly what it looks like. It does basically look the part. So just buy it, enjoy it, throw it away when it breaks.